good morning everyone how are you all first things first before i go any further can anyone recommend a tripod or a car holder for the canon g7x to sit comfortably and safely on either the dashboard or the window screen or something i could do with a really good tripod or something to just secure the camera because as it stands you're just literally on the dashboard sitting there and if i was to hit the brake or turn a corner right now oh, going around the roundabout it's literally you're literally clinging on <laughs> what i mean clinging on and you're probably hitting every bump like that so i am sorry i will keep it short because i don't want anyone to feel dizzy while they're watching this
about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come home to. Yes, I am on my way. We'll put our differences aside. Yes, it's a time of happiness. 
Happiness, a time of joy But now this year is twice as special Cause I'm hoping for that we're we'll falling Love in this winterland Could we fall in love? It's about 20 past, quarter past eight, 20 past eight. A parcel's just come and I thought, if I could start filming a weekly vlog on a Wednesday for YouTube, it will kind of prepare me for Vlogmas because I really want to try my hand at vlog Vlogmas. And I know I tried it back in 2018 and I failed miserably. I think I've done maybe three or four days, but I have a strategy in place. And the strategy that I have in place is working well for me at the moment with regards to filming days, editing days and uploading days. Plus, as you know, I'm a firm believer in the secret and I'm just I'm just feeling all the positivity and all the gratitude and feeling motivated. So I'm really going to try Vlogmas this year and I thought if I can have a little practice run every week by filming a weekly vlog, be it come shop with me. Fingers crossed we don't go back into lockdown. There is talks that we could be heading back into lockdown. Fingers crossed we don't, but even if we do head into lockdown, I will still film a weekly vlog of what I'm up to at home. Um, and I thought, yeah, let's do it. I enjoy watching them. I will, oh, oh, we've got very bright sun. Is that a little bit better? <laughs> the sun has just blinded me. Um, yeah, so we're gonna, Again, I forgot where it was. So we're going to try with the weekly vlogs and just include a little bit of everything. So before I do anything, my rituals order has just arrived. Parcel force or was it parcel force? No. The courier service has just dropped it off. So we will open it here together. I just need to hide my address on it. But this is my rituals order and we will open it together. I actually love the message on the box. It says, only by giving are you able to receive more than you already have. And this is the inside of the box. Rituals go all out with their package and it's so nice. But it says, rituals helps you slow down to find happiness in the smallest of things. It is our passion to turn everyday routines into more meaningful rituals. Your body, your soul, your rituals. Oh! Wow, how long has that been that bright? Is that better? Wow, that was bright. So, I love a rituals package. As you just know, I am a huge fan of rituals. I've used them for four very long years and these are all bought and paid for by me. I'm a huge fan and they have a new private collection and I'm a sucker for a private collection. But this one is Sweet Jasmine. And it's again the private collection in the interior room spray. So first impressions, I want to spray it all out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. I can smell like a little bit of tangerines, a little bit floral. And then that perfumey smell. Like Rituals is a very distinctive smell. Like if somebody sprays Rituals in their home, I know it instantly. I'll say that's a Rituals room spray. I know them all, Goja Berry, the, um, the Rituals of Deo, which is my favourite, the Karma, love it all. But this is a new one, it smells absolutely unreal. And then we have, hmm, 
This is the Relax and it's Sacred Lotus and Jujube. Jujube? Jujube. We'll go with Jujube. It's the Rituals of Jing. I'm going to have to spray that way. Mmm. Smells very like Deo. Smells very, very like Deo. Yeah, it's... Uh, I'd say it smells exactly the same as Deo. Ah, Sacred Lotus and Juju. The Deo is White Lotus and Yai Yai Ren. So it's the Lotus that I can smell, but smells very similar to the Deo. It smells gorgeous. And then this must be a little free gift if you spend over a certain amount. You get the little mini bead diffuser. So this is going to go on my desk. I don't know what scent. Oh, it's Imperial Rose. Well, I don't have Imperial Rose, but I was going to buy this air freshener. But I think this order came to about £60, maybe. So I didn't buy the Imperial Rose. I did, however, put it on my Christmas list. Well, it's on my Christmas list, but the chances are... I will go online and purchase the Imperial Rose Interior Room Spray because that smells unbelievable. And they also included a Rituals of Sakura shower gel, which is a foam and shower gel. It's a foam and shower gel. I already have one of these in the larger version and I absolutely love it. It's so nice. But I also picked up another Rituals Room Spray only about two weeks ago. I'm just going to see if it's here i have goji berry i have goji berry here but i don't have the new one and i'm pretty sure the new one is called the rituals of karma it's beautiful it's in a like a an aqua green colored bottle smells unbelievable i sprayed the sofa with it the other day it smells absolutely gorgeous so they're my little treats i'm going to put that box into the recycling I'm going to set up my new little reed diffuser. That's it. I'm having a productive morning. I'm having a little read of my daily teachings by The Secret, which is absolutely amazing, as you know. And I'm also reading You're a Badass, which is another brilliant read. This one is more like, you know, daily, daily teachings, little daily quotes to remind you to remain grateful, remain positive, whereas this is a book that I'm absolutely loving. So I'm having a nice productive morning. I've charged all my camera batteries i've sorted my diary out i've got you propped up as it stands on my shoe box so you might be a little bit lower because i need to grab my diary but i've been sorting out my diary for content for youtube which i'm up to date i'm a little bit ahead on videos as you may have noticed um i think i'm around so currently uploaded now on youtube i have the next three Sundays cleaning videos. So I've just finished uploading one. So I was already two ahead, which is two weeks because cleaning videos always land on a Sunday. I also picked up these. While we're here, I'll show you quickly just in case you like to be as organized as me. I love nothing more than writing in a pad, writing notes, writing to-do lists and all that type of stuff. And I got these from Home Bargains. They are a Concord meeting pad and it's A4 with 100 pages. I bought three because you can put the week number, the title, the date, and then all the details. So what I'm going to use these for is for my uploads to YouTube. So any content ideas that I get, I'm going to put it into here and then I can put the details of whether I have filmed it, edited it, uploaded it, scheduled it to YouTube. But I'm going to use this mainly for gift guides for Christmas so I've got quite a few gift ideas I've done my Christmas shopping I've done a majority of it online so I've got a majority of Big Lee's and Little Lee's Christmas gifts my nieces and nephews and then friends and stuff like that so I'm going to do some gift guides put all my ideas into these books and that's what I'm going to use them for and they were about 50 pence from Home Bargains I bought three because I love a notebook. I'm a sucker for a notebook. And then I also picked this new diary up for 2021, which is hopefully going to be filled with lots of happy, happy moments and nice things to plan. But I love this diary simply because it's a whole day. You get a whole day dedicated with times, which is my idea of a perfect diary. And then on the weekends, 
it's split between one page saturday and sunday which is absolutely fine but this was £2.99 from home bargains and as you've just seen my diary from 2020 is a sainsbury's leather it's a recycled leather diary but i absolutely love a big diary like this the only thing is with this sainsbury's one let me open it on a page that doesn't have any details in it so let's go to december we've got a little bit but you won't be able to see nothing because it's on the next page but the days are like this and i was a bit disappointed because i thought it was going to be a large day day by day rather than four days on one page so i'm very happy with that from home bargains but right now what i'm thinking we're going to do is i'm going to crack on creating a thumbnail for this video so that that's done i'm going to edit this little portion that i've already filmed get that into final cut pro and get editing good morning everyone it's the next day as you've probably gathered i am well out of the swing of vlogging <laughs> i forgot that you need to pick the camera up and actually film stuff but we got some news yesterday or the day before in fact i don't even know I, I, I can't even keep up with what day it is but we're going back into lockdown on thursday and i didn't want to be insensitive with my content so i'm just going to let you all know i did pre-record i did pre-film some videos for my november uploads on a wednesday which were like garden centers and um you know come shop with me for christmas inspiration i just feel like it's a little bit insensitive for me to post that now because obviously we're going into lockdown and i'm pretty sure that most of those garden centers that i filmed in don't have websites so they you may have already seen them by the time this video goes live but if you haven't then they will be added over the next few days they're just going to be little bonus videos because i think the worst thing about being in lockdown is knowing that we can't go out and we can't visit shops I just feel like it would be too insensitive to leave those videos scheduled knowing that we can't go out to the shops and go and have a little look around and there's no website for us to have a little shop on so they will be uploaded like i say you may have already seen them i'm not 100 percent sure but i just need to get a few last minute bits in so i'm going to um go to home bargains go and get some dog food for the dogs from pets at home i need to go and get a key cut because arlie's lost his front door key which is an absolute nightmare so i've got that on my to-do list i've got quite a few things anyway so i'm just going to bring us with me and we can have a little catch up in the car and you can let me know in the comments down below how you are all doing and how you are feeling about this new lockdown i just hope that everybody is okay and coping and managing well with it i know it can affect your mental health drastically it affected mine our previous lockdown in march and i know how hard it can be but just know that i'm always here if you need to reach out my email is in the description box of all my videos it's tony interior at hotmail.com even if you need to just reach out to just have a little gab if you haven't seen anybody or anything and you just want to talk just know that i'm always there to reach out you can dm me on instagram you can drop me a comment here or you can email me on my email address and i am more than happy to have a little gab with you and keep you company so just know that you are not on your own we are all in this together absolutely all in this together well it wasn't a very successful shopping day i ended up going to pets for home there was a big queue which is the start of the lockdown being in a few days so i got the dog food and then i nipped into tk max and picked up some candles which i will show you once i get in oh, Danny and laura picked me those up when they were there the other day and that's white christmas it's fresh citrus and sweet and white birch the dw candles i think from home sense and tk max are the best they just smell gorgeous well the weight of the dog food and the candles is making me car sense to think that someone is not wearing a seatbelt. so i got some nice candles i don't i didn't get any christmas scents just a little bit too strong like cinnamon some of them smelled like dentine chewies from years and years ago they were just too strong so i didn't get any christmasy scents i got a sand and fog one a couple of weeks ago i think it's in like frosted berry or something like that it doesn't really smell that strong and it, it wasn't cheap i think it was about 12.99 
but the candle's just got no scent that I want it. You can't really smell it. So I'm going to stick with DW candles because I know their scent throughout. Because I know their scent throughout is unreal. They smell gorgeous. So I picked a few of them up and as soon as we get into the house, I'll show you which candles I bought. So these are what I picked up. It's the... I was going to get the small bag of the Royal Cannon Shih Tzu. I usually get the bigger bag, so I'm going to have to go online and see if I can order it because they completely sold out in Pets for Home. So I'll go on Vet UK and order a bigger bag of that. And then these are the DW candles. Obviously, I've used that. I've got half left. That's the one that Denny and Laura picked up for me. And that one too. And then I've just bought this one, which is the Vanilla Brulee, which smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells very similar to the Vanilla Bean one that I had a couple of weeks ago. And then this one is Sandalwood and May, and that one was $7.99. That one was $5.99. They didn't have the bigger size in the Vanilla Brulee. And then this one is Red Currant Cassis, which smells absolutely gorgeous. And again, they only had this size for $5.99. But it smells absolutely gorgeous so love these DW candles they just smell the strongest so I've got my nice little candle collection all new I've got a couple of candles burning and I've got some Christmas decorations there that need to go back up into the loft because they're not getting used apart from some of the ribbons I need to finish the underneath of this tree I'm still unsure about these I just feel like the berry pink stands out an awful lot in comparison to the paler pinks like this if you see there's the berry pink and there's the paler pink i just feel like it stands out an awful lot i'm going to relax for half an hour i've got my candles going and here i am burning Again, the DW and that one is white birch. It smells lovely and fresh. But I thought, I'll sit down for half an hour. I'll put some YouTube on. And I've got an hour. Where's my phone? I've now got my phone. Imagine how cosy it's going to look when the Christmas tree lights go on. Shall I try it now just to see? It's currently 10 past four. I've got to pick the food shop up from Sainsbury's at half five. And I'm debating what to cook for tea i'm not sure i'm i'm also having an internal struggle saying shall i put the lights on and just see what it looks like on the christmas tree because it does look gorgeous and i've also got my little christmas trees on the fireplace oh and that's the new rituals room spray that i bought i did tell you about this in the unboxing part i'm going to pop the tree lights on how cozy is that oh <gasps> just looks so pretty doesn't it but this one is the rituals it's the holy lotus and organic white tea this one is the rituals of karma it smells absolutely gorgeous i picked this up about two weeks ago and I absolutely love it. it smells gorgeous i spray the chair in the room a little spray over the chairs and a little spray over the sofa to keep it everywhere smelling nice and fresh so yeah, I'm just now deciding what to cook for tea. I'm going to go and pick the food order up at half five. And doesn't it look gorgeous? It just looks so cosy, doesn't it? Oh, it's making me so excited. I can't wait to dress the fireplace. I'm going to put a tree in the dining room. I might put a tree in the kitchen where the spears are. In the kitchen i might put the tree up there because if we're going into lockdown it's about doing things that you enjoy isn't it so i'm definitely going to think long and hard about putting a tree in the kitchen i'm going to do the fireplace garland i'm going to do the stair garland and i'm just going to make everywhere really cozy and christmasy because i just absolutely love how cozy that christmas tree is any of my neighbors who live over the road are like oh tony's at it again a Christmas tree is all decorated and it's only the 2nd of November. <laughs> oh well. It's about doing things that make you feel happy. I think we've had such a dreadful year. It's just about doing things that make you happy, isn't it? And my tree makes me very happy indeed. Doesn't